Here we go, here we go. Welcome to my Tiguga place for you. This is my Tiguga. Episode 6 of our Let's Play series on Factorio with a lot of mods and hard mode, but we are thriving. Yes, we are. On this episode, we have lots of things to do, and I'm going to be showing you a little bit of our oil processing industry and much more. So let's get to it. Let's get to the game. Here we are. So, as you can see, um, from our last episode, I started building our little oil um, process industry. It's not done. It's far from done. Um, as you guys have may, may noticed, uh, may have noticed, that's what I mean. Uh, I'm a hoarder and I like to, you know, build and have enough stock and buffer systems uh, to... Well, I like them a lot, so that's what I'm aiming to do here. But since this was uh, a thing that was actually stopping our progress, I just started a little, you know, draft industry here with plastic, explosives, and some sulfur just to fuel our explosives line here. And I got a whole bunch of explosives from uh from this production and i'm gonna show you what i have been doing with it and i think you guys are gonna like it oh here's our warden vehicle look at that beauty look at how it is nice so we have to drive this all the way uh to our uh edges and i think i'm gonna just be sending it on its way for now um but here's what I wanted to show you. And this is it. This is what I'm trying to build. What? Oh, it needs steel. Okay, so I misarranged that. Let me make sure. I'm gonna be on the line here. Let me unload some of these tools here. Some of these items. It's always nice to keep your inventory well organized I don't think I'm gonna be needing all of these chests we can come back here and get it later what we need is a real nice piece of space okay so what I'm gonna be doing here yes I'm gonna be producing cliff explosives and that will allow us to edit cliffs finally and you might ask my ask yourself, hey, why this is important? Because this is our ticket to expanding the base in a well and organized manner. Manner, yes, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, but first, let's take care of research and let's get you up to date on what have we been researching. Uh, as you guys, as we talked about on our last video, um, I've been working on everything that's green and red science and I've been uh, abusing it. But since I started a couple of things, so before we go that, that way, I started a couple of other lines here that's going to be important. So let's cut up here. I started this small grenade line automation so we've we have been producing grenades uh there's not a lot here because i've i've used them and that's that has allowed us to start our black science or great science or military science back production and that's what we have been doing and with that in mind i also have been researching a lot of military techs. Let's just take a look at this warning here. Uh, let's see what's going on. Yes, this area here is, is being currently under a lot of stress. This area as well, we're gonna have to come take a look at this really soon. But as you can see, I've expanded our original uh, limited, limits or borders way to the left here. And now we have a very sizable area where to construct and to develop our base i know it's a lot it's huge but that's you know the way i like to play it it's just it's fun because now uh all we have to do is push this northern born and up and our factory will be growing and all this area here will be put to good 
use soon enough. So this area has been attacked uh, a lot, this area as well, and this area as well. Which means we need to build sniper cannons and that's why I've researched sniper cannons and I'm looking forward to making and building a lot of them really soon. Um, let me show you another piece of the factory that I've just finished up and this is the advanced secretary factory and as you can see we have uh, space to expand this but for now this is this is going to be enough but we can even uh, upgrade it uh, this area up to this size here I left some space there and we we have been producing a lot of advanced circuitry and it's already uh, the lines of normal circuits and advanced circuits are ready to go on to our main bus line here for further expansion so I have been busy offline and as you can see now we have concreted our roads which is making movement and everything else pretty much uh, easy. So what's the plan for today? I have been uh, still, I'm still working on making some storage tanks tier tier two. I think I have, I might have enough now, but I have this all set up. Let me start producing the cliff explosives. With the cliff explosives, we're gonna have lots of fun because we're gonna have, we're gonna be clearing a whole bunch of areas. Let me show you firsthand what I want to do. The first thing, of course, is to clear this area here, all this area. Uh, all those cliffs here are gonna be gone, so we can properly put a base up and this is gonna be our military section. Uh, so for example, I'm gonna be building a line here for, for sniper turrets and I'm probably gonna be moving this ammo factory here up there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. It's sitting well here and I'm tending to leave it there and our patient has paid off as well because our belts here are being produced we have a full uh, tank full uh, chests of it and that sits well with me let's go back to research I forgot to select research right and I was talking to you I've been doing red and green research all this time and it's actually been working but we have to start preparing and advancing to blue science so we're gonna have to automate that really really soon uh, but since we cannot uh, do that right now I'm just gonna be expanding on our military science and keep on expanding on our uh, red and blue science what is the name of the red and blue science again? I think this is automation and this is logistics. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, logistics and automation. That's green and red science respectively. And of course, what we need right now is to figure out a way to produce blue science. Right? And if I'm not mistaken, blue science will take engine units, um, advanced circuits, and so forth. All three of them that we can produce. I'm not sure what is required to produce engine units. Let me, let's take a look at it really quickly. Mm, it's right here. So we need pipes, so we're gonna need iron and we're gonna need steel. That's it. And we're gonna have to do that in a manner because I know red uh, engines or, or the electric engine units will need the yellow ones or the simpler versions of them. Let's keep researching here. So I want to do that in an organized manner and my first order of business is that my plan for our oil-based industry uh, which 
is in turn uh, the, the, the red engines, the electric engines, it's gonna be around here, okay? So, hey, you know what? Let me put a light here, everything's so dark. It's gonna be around here. So I need to finish mining out this stuff one way or another. So what we can do here is just really quickly extend our miners this way I'm gonna have to be careful here all right but now I don't care too much for any of this I just Oop, we are being attacked. Let's see. Oh, there, there they are. We're gonna have to go there really soon and take a look at the damages over there. So, this is it. We're mining what must be mined. And let me be just thorough with our production here. I need to get this out of the way you see and this is gonna be fine I wish I had a little bit more well I can just move and unfortunately I cannot move to better um, better miners as of yet because I think we need blue science for that or something like that. Let's take a look at it. Yes. Oh, no. We have advanced circuits, so we can. And we will be moving to the next tier. So before we do any of that, let's start collecting some of these miners here. I don't want to be producing a lot of miners that I'm not going to be using. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go and take the the ones that are not currently mining anything like this ones the edge ones and I can turn those into better miners soon enough this one is a candidate as well um, okay I need let me drop this really quickly. I need to... What do I need? I need... These kinds of circuits. Yeah, I tried to make a little production here, but... It didn't go away. It was too slow, so I decided just... Hey, what the heck, let's go to, all the way to it. And now... We upgrade. We can upgrade and that's nice well talking about upgrades I'm gonna get some more turrets from this chest over here we are almost running out of turrets we're gonna have to deal with that really soon um, we have enough walls I guess to protect the area let's get to it let's get to problematic area there's so many trees I just I just crashed the car oh here they are that's where they are going right so what I'm gonna do is really simple I'm gonna be let's fix this we can come back to here later we have another alarm. It looks like the... Let's see, where is the alarm? Right here. This area has been under intense attack. Oh, there's another iron ore here. Oh, man. This is going to be fun. Because I haven't planned for this. I haven't really planned for it. And I'm not sure, but... There's still a lot of ore here. 
that we can use. We're gonna have to think about that, how we're gonna tackle that area. So, that in mind, they're not attacking here, they're just coming through this way, but they will start attacking this gap. I think I think I made a mistake. Hold on. Yes, I made a mistake. Uh, let me out the this. Let me let with my nanobots. Nanobots are the bomb. And now I'm gonna place this a little bit. Uh, offset it here. We're still being attacked. It's still down there. Let's get to it. Let's get down there and see what's going on ASAP before we do anything else. Yes, we hit the tree. I need to clear this air <laughs> really soon. I'm not going to be able to traverse here because there's like this contingency wall. We'll, we'll take it away really soon. But it's safer to get the road system, you know, to travel through the road system. There we are. There we are. So it's saying it broke some stuff. Yes, I'm substituting the walls here on our bunker. This bunker actually is being... It's not doing... Where is it? Ah, it's up there. It's not doing so good because they come... Uh, they come from this side and I think the answer to this would be to place some sniper turrets here that will solve the whole problem and I don't wanna increase uh, the turrets in this way but I think I will anyways you know Let's see how they fare here. Let's go check it out our iron outpost. And of course, let's take the road system so we don't crash the car. The terrain is really raggedy. Really raggedy. Oh, I just... <laughs> I just... Let me take that, that car away from there. The warden. Warden, you're needed elsewhere. Just go over there. Just go right here. There you go. We can take that trip later. Oh, that's gonna be so nice when we blow up these cliffs and have our way. We're almost there. Almost there. So let's see what the heck is going on up here. We are being... We are being attacked. Finally can place some gates here. So what's going on? Well they tried to go in. Ooh they got in. They really got in. Let's fix everything we can. Let's ammo up. Of course, gonna have to put some ammo here, and I'm glad I have you. Just gonna change all the this wall. I need some sniper turrets, that's for sure. That's gonna give us some breeder, you know, some breeding room. That's for sure. Upgrade this areas here. I'm not gonna have enough belts to do this, but it's okay. We can tackle this later on. So for now, we're fine there. We we of course gonna have to we're gonna have to go back there as soon as we have 
more attacks just to make sure. Oops. I'm glad. The, the, I'm glad the items are are more crash resistant now. So let's take our. Let's play the magic of our warden here. I could, of course, make a path to it. Um. could make a path to it and just have it go into the path uh, but I think I'm gonna figure out a better way to do it you know there we go that's what I want let's take care of this area here it's been attacked as well very heavily let's redistribute this ammo more there you go having the warden here is way better than then I don't know okay warden So you're fine, it's collecting all the items. It's better than walking around, that's for sure. And I think we can later on, we can... Just gonna leave it there for for this instance. Later on, I think we can um, upgrade the Warden to have better engines, so it goes a little bit faster. Let's see, this has enough power to defend this area, that's for sure. Where's the car? The car is right here. So let's get the car back. I'm having I'm having trouble deciding one on one thing. Maybe you guys can help me out on the comments or something. Uh, I have this artifact loot chest that is from a mod called Loot Chest Plus. What it does is basically, it I can place it over here and will act a, as a warden for the whole map. And it will bring all the items that are left down. But I think that's a little bit cheaty. I'm not sure what you guys think, but I think... Oh, there's a lot of cliff explosives here. Let's use it with parsimony I think it's a little bit cheaty to use the war chest it is at, at, at a certain point it is something that one might want because it's it gets impossible to be collecting the it's not impossible but it's it's a real hustle to be collecting all around your outposts and everything but I'm not sure if I want to use that, you know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know. Out D. These walls are gone. Alright. I was dying to get those cliffs away from us. up here as well. I think I need to do this here. I can always make more explosives, but I wanna I wanna get ready of those cliffs, man. Oh, this bothered me so much in the beginning of the game. I can take care of those later. One cliff that I want one for sure is hey, maybe we should put some lights here, right? Just to make it sure it's illuminated. Nice. Alright. Let's go back to blowing cliffs. Ah, that's so nice. Now we have a clear path. 
gonna take a lot of concrete to you know to pave all this I could even take the warden but I think I'm gonna let it be for now uh, all right so our stone is here there must be a better way to do this. I don't think it will use the the coal that is in in its inventory. Let's 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 make a test. So we are getting to a point where we either gonna have to start making blue science or we're gonna have to go to modules and work on that. We also let me see how this is faring. Yes, this is not good. We need more. And I wanna do trains as well. But for now. I don't think we can for now. So I know I'm gonna have to blow some more things up. Solar energy. There we go. Oh man. This is freedom. This is freedom. Oops, there's a problem over there. Why do you have that there? Grab some ammo so I can distribute. Distribute over here. I know. I know there's probably some of you that can't stand the fact that uh, that we have so many manual things. I think we should bring the the warden here as well. Look at this. This is ripe for collection. Oh boy. In the spirit how much how many gates? We have enough gates. Let's place the gates over here. Now we have exits. We have the whole shebang. Ooh, that this was wrong. Yes, it was wrong. With our base, solar energy to. I'm just you know, I'm going to to the, to the ball with the uh, red and and, and and green science. You know what? Let me make sure I have a nice red science production. Cause I noticed that I'm. I think I'm producing more. More green science than, than red science, not by a lot, and I also noticed that I have another, when we play with space exploration, the the science packs has, a, they have a better texture to it, so logistics are done, stack inserter capacity bonus, so now we're going to be able to build some stack inserters, we have a lot of uh, land view, but I think, f honestly, we could do it better. Let's take a look at our railroad here. We have lots of rails, which is good. What what are they missing? They're missing concrete, right? So I'm not going to leave them missing much longer. For two reasons. First of all, because I know that uh, there's a si uh, yellow science pack. That will require us. Let me see. Will require us to, you know, to consume a lot of rails. So we're gonna have, we're gonna need a lot of rails, a lot of it, and also because we're probably gonna be expanding the base a lot. So 
Eisen. Okay. Oh, this is too much. This is too much. What do I need? Extra? Uh, I need explosives for this. So let me go. Let me go grab some explosives. We're probably gonna need more. Uh, more of an area here. I don't need to be producing wires anymore. At least I don't think. Here are the explosives. All right. Stack inserter bonus. So we are getting to a point where we're gonna have to decide what to do. But I think I'm. I'm I, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, it's not gonna be ready uh, before. Our area here is not gonna be ready before we do any of this. So. Okay. I think blue science is in order, right? So what do we need for blue science? We're gonna need engines. I could produce engines by just I don't I don't need a lot of engines though. I just need a belt for engines. And how and where? How and where? That's the question. I'm not gonna, I don't. I don't have any more space to relay more of these. Um, let's let's see. This this the the big laboratory is just too too fast on the research you know you just click and if you have the resources it will discover it for you so what i'm going to need to build um when i say i don't have more space is that i need better belts look at this man our 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 feeding of copper is Really crappy, you know. Really crappy. There we go. This ought to do the trick. But I'm not sure, to be honest. I think we can we can make a couple of things. Uh, but to do that, we're gonna need um, we're gonna need those guys here. All right, so. I do have what what am I missing? Some iron. What am I missing here? Okay, I don't wanna be making gears. What am I missing? Ten of these fifteen of these I'm gonna need more circuits and I'm gonna need more iron. And I can make 10 more of these. Alright. We're almost done. And we are going to be migrating our whole thing to the red. Uh, the, I mean. Fast transport belt. That's obvious. But from there. I'm not sure if we're going to be migrating any further. And this is my production line here. Look. I'm produ producing a lot of alien artifacts. And I think with one alien artifact, we can produce five alien ore, which is nice. But we need five stone and five iron ore. I'm not ready to automate that yet. So turbines. I wanna, I want those. We're probably gonna need that as soon as we discover. Okay, so I'm postponing this. I need to be smarter right uh, what I want what do I want I want engines maybe I can place the engine manuf so before I, okay before I do the engine manufacturing then I'm gonna copy this situation here okay 
and I'm gonna place it right here right along this area a little bit and why am I doing that because I know for a fact that the the same sniper turrets uh, will be in use it's the same process I could even you know I could even start producing sniper turrets here and just change the line of production I could do that but I I, I want to save the space if I ever want to let's get a couple more of these and okay and I know I'm gonna be needing this so let's just make it happen okay so what we do here it's pretty simple we're gonna have a splitter here right is that how we done yes it's not the most elegant way I know but it will do the trick where's more splitters I need a splitter here with underground tunnel and that my friends will allow me to produce sniper cannons sniper turrets I'm gonna tell it to drop it a little bit further here right this is it it's producing can I place modules on it I don't think I can but this is fun this of course is gonna be a little bit um, narrow to what we need if we're planning on doing blue science out of here let me just see what all right if you're planning on doing blue science out of there it's gonna be a little narrow you see from down here although we can bring some some dumbo lines with the steel and everything okay so since we did this let's do the I was giving some space I have a infinite uh, infinite space here let me see what I'm gonna do to produce so I need pipes I need gears and I need steel so this is gonna be something different this is gonna be something that I need uh, I need to feed iron through here and then here because one of you will produce pipes that's it I could make it line up I know because I, I can make I can make you feel this and this guy will make pipes um, there's going to be a belt right here and then a second belt here uh, we're going to be placing pipes and gears right there but one's going to be offset it so each will occupy just one lane of the belt right right and i'm going to ask for you guys to pick up iron iron plates from this belt okay and then we can produce engines I don't think I'm gonna need all of this and you don't need 
iron so I don't have to extend this other belt here but I will have to place this and of course this so you're gonna be grabbing grabbing steel and placing engines and of course I can copy the orders here on my on my inserters and we will have a nice engine supply right now so first part of the automation is almost done let's do this let's bring the belts over here over here and over here that this annoys me <laughs> we have we, we are too fast on science and so it annoys the heck out of me let's find out about flamethrowers we don't need to, to we, we don't really need to advance on science right now okay I'm gonna need a splitter right here and this Oh yeah, because soon we're gonna need a a steel line there, but we can make that work. And I'm gonna need another steel line splitter. All right, right there. overkill I know of course I'm missing the, the most important part which is the the, the the arms that will get the things done there we go there we go Okay, we have our engine line running. That's awesome. We have our engine line running and we have our sniper turret also working. Maybe we should make more normal turrets, right? So let's let's see the strain on our on our steel production with all these processes running. So the next thing we are going to be needing is uh, there's one thing that we could do here. We can produce black science here if we bring our this. If we bring this up here, ah, uh, but then we're gonna need a rock. Yeah, black science is. Uh, we, we're gonna need another facility, I think, to... who Flame Trum Tumbler. That's nice. Let's research this, this little car. Because we would, would need a line of ammo and a line of walls. We could maybe make it so that we can grab... Uh, grab with logistic robots in the future I would like just to have it belted though feels funnier that way oh man we're discovering science like crazy look flame tank I like this this is all vehicles from the AI mod but the thing is we already have engine production with that in mind we can start producing a small amount of blue science here uh, we don't have sulfur we don't have sulfur we're gonna need a line for sulfur that's gonna be together with coal and I wanted it to be here so we need we need a way to drain this area quickly so I think it's time for us to pull the big guns out start draining whatever 
whenever we can. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up uh, some more clusters of for us to to gather these ores because if we clean this oh what's going on are you done oh you were done that's nice so it's time for another iron uh, warehouse here just to make sure and because it, it it's probably full because we need to place more coal there. I just did it though. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm not gonna be that... I'm, I, I don't think I'm gonna do the whole thing online. Uh, it's probably about time we, we end up the episode. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. We're doing pretty good, pretty fine on our base. We have... Uh, come along very well uh, towards the the blue science and uh, we resolved our border problems and we finally get got some cliff explosives which allowed us to organize and prepare for base expansion uh, more neatly so guys uh, thanks a lot for watching today i hope you guys are enjoying the app the episodes of factory let me know if you are it's very important on the comments uh if you're not subscribed and for some crazy reason you just stopped by and like what you see what you saw and please don't forget to subscribe it's important okay so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you soon